Like, yo, what's goody? It's your boy, Mr. DC YLP, one third of the Brokers Podcast, you know. Shout out to Wax. Shout out to Mr. Esteban. But, yo, I got another review for y'all today. Boom. It's coming from your guy, Buffalo's own El Camino. All right. This is, um, this is homie's fourth project he dropped this year alone. All right, the name of the project is called El Camino 3. All right, it's a total of 22 minutes and 43 seconds long. And um, it's nine tracks. All right, yo, so we're going to get right up into this joint, man. I'm going to pip up a little um, uh, the art cover of the project somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to put it here or here. But either way, y'all going to see it, all right? So, um, you know, shout out to El Camino, man. Yo, I respect the grind. I see your growth, but um, let's talk about this El Camino 3, all right? First off, production-wise, yo, the production, I would have to say, excuse my language, it's fucking amazing. I'm just keeping it a buck. All right, so we got some um, some some notable producers on the project. Uh, number one is, uh, you know, the most popular producer on the project project is Harry Fraud. Uh, if you don't know who Harry Fraud is, you know Harry Fraud, uh, he's uh, responsible for a lot of the early on um, French Montana bangers, all right, that French, that, you know, that pretty much broke French in the beginning of his career. All right, so shout out to Harry Fraud. We got uh, CG on that joint. We got uh, Tony Boy on that joint. We got Camouflage Monk on that joint. And we got... um. Chris Rubin on that joint. All right, so it's a very solid, well-put-together project, man, production-wise. All right, everything flows real nice. Uh, a lot of boom-bap beats banging. Nothing sounds like real cliche on some, like, current, like, drill-type bullshit or what have you. you know what I'm saying, um, you know, the young bull from, uh, from Buffalo, man, you know, he came a long way from being, like, a hype man from Gazelda. You know, some of the greats that we've mentioned in the past, Benny's, the West Side, and the Conways. I'm saying I remember like five, six years ago, every time we went to a Griselda show, you know, uh, El Camino would come out. You know, he would be the hype man, hyping shit up with his tight ass pants on and so on and so forth. But the young boy, you know, he was getting it popping. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, you know, he's standing on his own. He keep dropping um, project after project and everything sounds pretty much solid. And to keep it funky, if you need a if you need like a ill chorus or what have you, yo, El Camino be dropping some shit. He be dropping some 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 ill choruses, you know. Um a lot of um, you know, the choruses that he's done, you know, um, on the projects that he's come that he's come out with over the past three or four years, he's pretty much handling, you know, his own. All right, now um uh you know uh you don't really, we haven't really seen him, you know, out and about in the public, you know, spotlight with, you know, the whole Griselda camp or like torn and anything like that. Because I, th- I guess, you know, he still got, you know, legal issues that he's dealing with. So I'm not sure if he can leave, you know, the state or, you know, the country or, or what have you. But that's here nor there. You know, let's just keep it focused on, you know, this El Camino 3 project all right um it looks like if you look in the credits um everything was distributed by um next records llc um llc camp so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pip up here or here and show you you know what next records camp looks like yo and there's some heavy hitters on there man that's why you know you see you know, the, the other artists that he's linking up with, you know, they show him they showing him wild love. A lot many are older than him. But you know, I feel like they give him the respect because they know he's seasoned now. And he pretty much got the format down where, you know, they respect his flow, they respect his artistry. And you know, they don't mind, you know, collabing with him per se. So as you can see, you know, some of these artists that we like and we love. You know, they on the same camp or distribution team. All right. Um, some artists, you know, to mention that he has on his project are 
you know, ASAP, ASAP Ant is on the joint. Uh, 38 Specials on the joint. Uh, Jay Worthy's on the joint. King Ralph is on the joint. Love Boat, Luciano's on the joint. Yo, so it's a pretty well put together, you know, project. It don't, it doesn't sound forced or anything like that. You know, uh, the collabs all make sense. It's not like no wild collab where it's like, yo, why he put so-and-so on this track or on this song? Or why he got production from so-and-so? And Nah, it's, it's nothing like that. So, um, you know, shout out to El Camino, you know, for putting this uh, project together production-wise and artistry-wise to the point where it actually makes sense and it sounds good. All right, the nine tracks in the 22 minutes and 43 seconds long it might seem like it's kind of like short. He could have possibly went twelve, but trust me, if you wanna, if you're checking for some new music and you listening to this project, it's gonna give you everything that you need. And you're not gonna be really, uh, you know, yearning or craving, you know, for more per se. You, you're pretty much gonna get, you're pretty much gonna be satisfied. And the replay value is definitely phenomenal because you, so you're definitely gonna be running this shit back to back, back to back, back to back. I literally listened to it uh, today. Um, at least six times, and today is the 28th, and the project, I believe, dropped on the 24th of June, all right, so, let me drink my water, so if you guys are looking for any new material, you know, to check for, definitely, definitely check for this new project, El Camino 3, you know, by... You know, uh, yours truly, um, El Camino's like self uh, titled. But um, before this video ends, y'all make sure you hit that thumbs up and make sure y'all hit that bell notification so y'all never miss nothing as far as YouTube is concerned. And y'all make sure y'all listen to um, you know, our podcast, you know, all this, you know, on all the streaming platforms, you know, like that you frequent, and um, you know. Rock with your boys, man. Shout us out too, man. You know, leave it in the comments. Let y'all let us know what you think about the album. Let us know if you if you guys want us to review any other albums. But you know what? That's it for this one, y'all. So shout out to El Camino on his new project and all the success he got coming his way. Check this out. This is the Brokers Podcast, you know, and that was the review on El Camino 3.